Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing what I've been loving recently and sorry if the camera is like shaking I really don't know how else to do this because it's on my bed right now and obviously I move hopefully it doesn't move every time that I move I know that I've worn this sweatshirt a bunch lately but I'll get into that I just really wanted a more chill background more cozy and chill background I'm super excited to do this video because I've never done like a current favorites before but I'm not really around calling this a current favorites just because I know it will be products that are going to become like my lifetime favorites. Most of the makeup favorites I haven't used too many times, but I just really wanted to talk about them. I have makeup, I have skincare, food, random stuff, everything. So if you want to see all the products or the things that I've been loving, then just keep watching. First, I'm going to start with makeup. First isn't really like a makeup product, but you need it for your makeup. And it's this AOA Studio Wonder Blender. It's like the two times softer one or whatever. The Paw Paw Charity one. This just blends out your foundation, concealer, whatever. You're blending out really well. And it's so soft. And this is all I've been using. I haven't been using my Real Techniques one. This is probably the easiest sponge I've ever used like to clean. It hasn't started like shedding or peeling any, you know, like pieces of sponge off. This is wet because I just used it. I'll probably talk about this more in my shop and video next you'll probably see as a surprise if you haven't seen my i don't know if i'm going to post my shop and say like first impression tutorial before this or after this if y'all saw my highlighter collection then you know that this highlighter i wasn't too like fond of that was before i had tried it out again in the first impression video and this is the aoa studio wonder baked highlighter in cream puff and whenever I was talking about it in my highlighter collection, um, I said that it wasn't like the most impressive or whatever. Y'all probably can't even see that. And when I tried it out again in my shop mistake tutorial, this is so blinding. I'm wearing it right now. And I think the best way to use it is, like, I still think it's better to use, like, after you spray your face. What I did today is I just put it on. I sprayed my face and then I put a little more on. That's how I got face glowing wrong. Hey. I still stand by it saying that it looks shimmer everywhere, but it's so pretty and it's a dollar. So I definitely recommend this one. The next product is the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. And this is the product that I set it with today and this is the only product i've been using because this makes your skin look so glowy and it just like sinks literally every single powder into your skin like it makes it look like your skin like this is literally magic in a bottle i haven't used it that many times i've only used it like four or five times but it's so good i don't know if it's mint here or what but it kind of has like that lipstick smell mixed with like a slight mint it kind of makes your face feel a little numb whenever you first spray it which sounds bad but it doesn't really bother me at all it just feels a little weird it's one y'all probably also saw coming it's the wet n wild photo focus dewy primer it's just so glowy and i feel like when i use this my skin looks so good even though it's not like a pore filler or anything the testing new makeup video i used it i used this probably like five or six times but when i use this and i just use concealer like no foundation over it like my face looks so good and natural and then i set it with this and then it's like 10 times better this one i don't know if i'm really counting this one but this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I obviously haven't used every shade in here, but I have used this a lot more than y'all have seen. Y'all have only seen me use it once, but like, y'all have seen two looks with it. I've used like this shade off camera, I've used this shade, I've used all of these shades pretty much. And then I've used that shade, these two, the purple, I have used that and that shade. The next color I want to use is this one, because like, look at that color. It's not like a true olive green shimmer like it's like metallic and it has like silver reflex kind of now i know why people are always saying that they take this traveling that's one of the reasons that i got it was because it literally has everything like if you want to do bold makeup natural makeup just one color the only thing it doesn't have is a cream shade but I mean, like, it's not a big deal because, I mean, you're gonna have a face powder with you, or at least I will. They don't really have that much follow either. I really like this new packaging. The only thing is this 
shade right here isn't too pigmented. I wish it showed up like this in your crease. It doesn't show up that yellow. If y'all have watched any of my videos, then y'all know that I've been re-falling in love with this e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. I just mixed all the shades together for my bronzer. I have that on today. This is just like the perfect everyday blush as well. And like, I just love mixing it all together for my bronzer. And then I go in with a little more of these two shades to put a little more chisel in there. And then I use that as my blush. And then you can clean up a little of the shade if you want to. Um, it's like not, not the best like for like actually setting. I love this so much. It's definitely become one of my favorite bronzers. That's all the makeup. Now on to skincare. First product I'm going to talk about is this Freeman Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Glacier Water Plus Pink Peony Gel Cream Mask. I did a first impression on this versus the other one. I don't even know what it's called because I haven't used it <laughs> at all since because I've been in love with this one. But I haven't even like used up the packet, but when I saw this at five below for four dollars, I was like Finally a full size. I haven't used this like as an actual mask I've been using this as my moisturizer because I saw a comment on that video and they said that they used it as their nighttime moisturizer every night I've been using this more like in the morning and then it just moisturizes me all through the day and through the night if I don't I know I should put whatever it's on. It just makes my skin so soft. Like if I were to rub this on my fingers right now, like my fingers feel so soft afterwards. This is so good. And if you want to find the full size, check by below if you have it. This is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Focus body cream this is the same thing as the old dress leaf eucalyptus tea this smells so good i use this every night before i go to bed i mean it's not like the most moisturizing thing i've never found bath and body works creams to be that moisturizing like i have to use that i can't just use like one of their lotions if you like have smelled stress relief before and you want like a more girly version that's basically what this is because stress relief it literally smells like a boy it just smells so good and it says eucalyptus oil tea extract clears the mind, helps you focus. I don't know if it helps you focus. For me, it just calms me down. Speaking of calming down, this is the Mario Badescu facial spray, the lavender one, and this is the new one, and I talked about this a little bit and said that I think it might be like a little more drying than the other ones, and I don't really think so, but this has pretty much been the only one I've been using because I use this one at night, and then I just spray it, and like when I breathe in the lavender, like it's just literally like this one's just for the scent but i love all the other ones y'all know that i love this like if you've watched any of my other skincare videos then i talk about this one in it it's just really good like setting spray for your skincare that's what i call it because it just locks everything in makes you glowy i've only used like four of these aoa studio pure cotton squares but i really like these because i've never used like any other basically cotton round or whatever than the target brand and these are like so much thinner and i feel like the material is like a lot thinner but it doesn't rip at all it takes so much less product with this like i don't have to use near as much makeup remover or toner it saves so much product and so that means you save money and these are a dollar for 40 and the pack is like pretty tiny like even though it's only 40 it looks super tiny and super cute i wish they would come out with big ones even if it was like a little more money i don't even know what these would be called but first i'm going to talk about this toothpaste and this is the arm and hammer advanced white extreme whitening baking soda and peroxide toothpaste i don't use this as my regular toothpaste i don't use this every day but i use this pretty much like three times a week when my teeth are feeling a little more yellow um I will brush my teeth like with my regular Crest gel, whatever that is, um, and then I'll just go in it with this. And I also can clean my retainers with this as well. I feel like this just does the best job of cleaning those as well. I feel like it just gives you an extra like deep cleaning and whitens a little. Literally, you can tell the difference after you've brushed your teeth. It's real good. But I don't recommend using it just as your regular toothpaste because it literally feels a little grainy, like it's just baking soda mixed with like something else this i've never talked about like a lush product on my channel before and this is the lush no dry, dry shampoo and it's just like a powder dry shampoo and it looks like i have used nothing i would have never purchased this like on my own because i'd be like oh i would never use that this is probably the best dry shampoo i've ever used my hair doesn't really get oily it just gets super 
flat and gross like it's not actual oil especially like this part on like the last day of my hair before i wash it and like in the back i just like do it like that and i just like rub it into my scalp it doesn't show up white but it absorbs all of the whatever and it gives my hair really good volume as well plus i feel like this is gonna last forever i really like lights now on to random things first i want to talk about my shirt because obviously i wore this in my shop miss a haul and i know i literally just wore it but it's fine i've literally been wearing this every day this is like a walmart and i thought it was hanes but it's fruit and loom like the walmart brand it's a medium like men's sweatshirt like i need to go get all of these because the girl section does not make these good of sweatshirts like these cute and good i normally don't like pullover sweatshirts as like actual like jackets like where you take them off like i just wear them as an actual shirt i guess since it's bigger um but it's like light but also keeps you warm at the same time it's like literally the perfect sweatshirt i just wear a t-shirt under it most of the time like whenever it's cold in the morning like when i had a work day i wore this over it and most of the day i wore this but i could like easily just take it off and then put it back on like it was nothing like oh i have to take this off now or put it back on like it's so easy to take off and put back on over other clothes then i'm going to talk about these pins i know like literally who talks about pins on their channel but i love these pins has anyone else tried these i have like the big pack of like all the colors these are the paper mate ink joy gel and they're fancy like they're fancy and they're pretty expensive i think it was like 20 dollars for this pack or something and i think there's like 10 of them in here this isn't sponsored but like look how nice these are like they're not gonna fall apart like my other like ink joy pens they kind of like just fall apart but these are like super nice this is how they look they write super nice and i just just learn from they don't smear so like right that's how it is just did it no smearing last but certainly not least is food the only food actual thing is cuties like this is anyone else obsessed with cuties like i literally have one every day they're so good and i think it's just because all you have to do is peel them and eat them they're so much easier to eat than a big orange and like i just love these like halos cuties whatever you want to call them like there's like eight different brands but it's fine these are so good the other one is Tezo Refresh Mint. I talked about peppermint tea in my shop and say haul, I think, how I was drinking it. And then I've only tried one peppermint tea. This is the best. I thought that mint tea would taste like super bland, but I just put in like the teeniest bit of sugar. And then this, I could probably try honey, but I feel like honey with mint, I don't know. Have y'all tried any other mint teas or like any other teas, like hot teas? just tell me down below just make sure you let your tea steepen because it's like the longer it steepens the better it is but also this is like a kind of tea i don't like drinking when it's cold like i have to rewarm it up like eight times because it gets cold so fast uh because i don't drink it that fast i think that was all of my favorites that's all the things i've been loving recently there was some random stuff some makeup some skincare some food some all that so yeah, if y'all like these videos, just tell me down below because I really like, like, just sit down, chill videos. And also, I've never said this before, but make sure you subscribe to my channel if you liked this video or any of my other videos. Please leave any of your recommendations down below. Anything you want me to do. Also, tell me down below if you like this background, this more chill type of background, even though the camera shakes every two seconds. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Rub it into my scalp. That's the only way I can't shake the camera. Oh, okay. Is it good?